So we're basically going to show uh, how to make what's you know, the sine wave, when, uh, especially when you're talking about sacred geometry, hexagons and equilateral triangles. And uh, we're going to use a construction line and these borders. And I'll start with this is where we draw our circle. Now we'll draw our vesicle parties and now just continue that along the line. These are just going to be uh, gliders uh, later, with, just to show the um, construction lines underneath. It's always a, you'll always point to different things. It's, anyway, so I've just compass. I haven't changed the size of the circle. Straight line going across and. Um, now, uh, what I'm going to do is now set the, the pen so it's a darker line. I'm going to set it to more. It's set to the same radius as a circle, and there's all the all the sine wave sine wave is. So where the circles intersect, begin there. Put our point. Draw just that part of the arc. I'm rushing a little bit, so I'm off and uh, off perfect accuracy. But if you take your time, put our point. So we have the first up and down of the wave. Yeah. So now we skip one, go to the next. And uh, so this is almost like we're un unrolling a hexagon is one way also to think of this but it's, it's all built up around uh, equilateral triangles, hexagons and then breaking it down into 30, 60, 90 or, so, you know, we have to go to breaking it down into those uh, 30, 60, 90 set square but uh, basically what's underneath so being a little bit fuzzy, but just to show my point, and there's the what's called the sine wave. Now, uh, let's start with these two points. If we were to use that straight line, we would have a equilateral triangle. If we were to go from point to point, and I'll stop there. Now we essentially have uh, two of these. So it's thirty. 1960. Uh, we also have the hexagon I mentioned. Let's bring the point to the next one. We have our hexagon and we can also see that the hexagon is made of six smaller, one, two, three, four, five, six equilateral triangles and if you're Cut those in half, you would have 12 of these just wheeling around. Uh, uh, another equal lateral triangle, before I forget now, from this point, if we were to continue that line, and then we would have a larger, which is sort of like what they say, the fractal nature of this geometry. Um, and that's the sign. And what's really underneath. All of it. Um, so it's, it's, we have the 30, 60 set square. What we have. Yep, can't be no share. So if I, you know, if you follow me, I'm drawing the. A ratio of only one, two, and the square root of three, which in whole numbers is equal to 265 over 153, which would give you student an equivalency of 153 and 265. Uh, 
So that's the ratio which is inside all of these equilateral triangles and underneath hexagons and, and uh, the sort of the, the, um, simple stuff from which uh, compass and straight edge geometry comes from. It's uh, a lot of whole other connections, but anyway, that's the sine wave and hexagons and triangles.